Welcome to the Trailblazers PvP Challenge. Rug and myself will be grinding it out to create the strongest account fighting three times a week, Thursdays, Sundays and Tuesdays, alternating between the channels. In Trailblazers, everyone is an Iron Man and has to complete tasks to gain relics. Tasks can be as easy as killing a goblin or getting an infernal cape. Relics unlock powerful combat and skilling buffs never seen before in RuneScape. And once enough tasks are complete, new areas of the map can be unlocked. This season, each fight is important, as winning the most fights before the final fight will put you 1-0 up in the series. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2. So what we did so far this episode was Telly to Port Kazard. And uh, did I even pick the right option there? Uh, no, I didn't. Can I help you? Yeah, so we tell you to Port Kazard, and we're going to rush fight and request to try to get close to that 60 attack. So in this episode, we will probably get that Dragon Simi, but I have a bunch of tasks that I want to do as well. It's going to be a mixture between training combat, getting a Dragon Simi, and just still rushing tasks, because I still think that's going to be the fastest way to progress by getting the multipliers as quick as you can. All right, now this is going to give us a lot of thieving XP on top of the attack XP as well, which we want to do the RD9 one so that's quite reassuring to know that i'm gonna get a nice boost um yeah wow 59 attack man i had i had in my plan to actually top off on 60 at some point today obviously and seems like it's gonna be a lot easier than i thought okay i mean we're basically at a dragon scimitar monkey madness one is already actually complete so we don't have to worry about doing any questing to actually hold the dragon scimitar it's already done monkey madness two is also complete for those of you who don't know um but right now we're rushing to the moss giants and killing one real quick because that is a task as well um and then yeah we're gonna top off on the 60 attack and we're gonna save the bones because we need 25 bones to do Demon Slayer and Demon Slayer, which I won't do right now, but I want to get the bones for it now. And Demon Slayer is 50 points. So let's go rush those Moss Giants. And I don't know where I'm going to train yet. I might train maybe in there. Maybe I'll kill some um, Chaos Druids. I have, the, I have the thieving level to get in there. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. It's right here. So it's actually pretty crowded in there. I'm going to stick with it because I am getting some nice starter herbs as well as getting those bones. But it's going to probably take a little longer than training elsewhere. We're also getting some of these myth bolts. And I figure at some point we are going to need to uh, have a crossbow. Because we're probably going to be hybriding the moment one of us gets protection prayers. Which very much could happen in this episode. I can actually bank a lot of this stuff now. Keep... Ah, how many bones do we have? We have 18. We only need seven more bones, so... Okay, we're back again. Rog outdid me a little in the first episode. I didn't actually realise. If you click tasks and you choose the area, go like Misthalin, for example, it misses out a load of really easy tasks you can do. For example, like cut 50 willows. That doesn't show up if you choose Misthalin. So you've got to have all on, and then you can see like the easy tasks that will get you like 50 points and stuff. So that's the reason he got ahead of me massively in the first bit. But it does mean I can catch up pretty quickly here. Um, and I don't think it's going to cause too many of the issues. Uh, so I'm going to start this timer. And then we're going to tell you to Varrock. A lot of you were saying that me choosing this stuff was bad. But I actually really like it. It means I've got a lot of tellies around the world uh, without too many issues. So let's start this. And let's go to the cooking guild. Because we need to get some money together. Okay, that's 48 thieving, and we got just over 4.2k, or 4.2k there. Um, I also got 50 points for opening 800 um, coin pouches, or coin pouches equaled 800 coins all opened at once, and I got 50 points for that, so that was pretty nice. I'm um, going to grab ourselves out the runes, and we need to try and get ourselves a rune axe now. Um, so I'm going to go spend all of this money over at uh, Aubrey and buy myself as many casts of fire strike as I possibly can. I probably need to get my fire staff out as well. Um, and then we're going to go to the Enchanted Valley, kill spirit trees until hopefully get a rune axe. If we get an Addy axe, I'll be happy with that as well. So uh, yeah. So with the Enchanted Valley, you can just safe spot the spirit trees behind these plants and stuff like that. You can see a load of people are actually doing it. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of how lucky we can get. If we get Addy, I'll leave. I'd love to get a rune axe though. They drop Rune axes, Addy axes, all the axes really, and then they also drop nature runes as well. So decent drop table actually. Uh, let's see, we're pretty close to killing this one, so let's see what we're going to get on our first drop. There we go, and it's a Taramin, brilliant. There's our first axe, we got a Mithril, which is an upgrade, um, so I will take that, but uh, as I say, we want the Addy, we want the Addy. There we go, the rune axe coming in, absolutely awesome. Okay, let's get ourselves to... 
Lumbridge now because we've got to do actually yeah let's do Lumbridge uh, areas boom miss the Lynn teleport um so we can't quite use the rune axe just yet unfortunately because we don't have the level but we're really really close so uh, a couple of 50 point tasks are chop 100 willow logs burn 100 willow logs fletch a willow short bow um, and also get level 50 uh, so there's a lot of wood cutting stuff we could do there, um, along with make a whacker canoe, which gives 50 as well. So there's loads of points to be given out if we go down this wood cutting route for a while. So I think I'm going to do that. Got ourselves 22 nature runes as well, which is really, really nice to see. So we've got ourselves 22 alks. Uh, when we do get there, we're really not far. Yeah, really not far. So let's put all of this away. Let's grab ourselves out the axes and we'll go with mithril and rune. And boom, let's get on to this. Actually, let's get a knife as well so we can fletch. And I forgot it's 50 points to equip a room weapon. So we just got 50 points just for wearing that, which is so, so nice. Oh, and equipped a mythical weapon, 10 points. 60 points there, just passively. Let's refresh this. For whatever reason, that's just gone up. Okay, yeah, boom. There we go. And boom, we can now use the rune axe. Chop some logs of the rune axes, 50 points as well. Oh my god, they're coming in so quickly. Let's refresh this quickly. We are 910 points away from another relic. This is sick. 31 cutting coming in as well. There we go, just missed it. But that was the uh, chop 100 willow logs coming in. So I'm going to chop a few more because I need to burn 100 as well. I've been doing it as I go. Um, but I think I was cutting willows in the previous episode. So I did a few before. I actually started burning them, so we probably need... I'll do, like, until this tree goes, and then we'll burn them all. And that should be another 50 points coming in. Uh, once I refresh this, we will see how many we've got left. There we go. Burn 100 willow logs. Beautiful. Okay, I need to start now getting my fletching up because we need to make a willow longbow U. Um, that's another 50 points. Let's just quickly refresh this. And we are 790 away from getting ourselves another relic which would be huge this should be my last chaos druid wow we're really close there we go 60 attack guys 60 attack 100 points i also get 50 for just equipping the dragon scimitar i'm pretty sure um that's awesome that is awesome is that my highest skill yep that's probably why i got the 60 i actually didn't even read the task um let's get out of here we have enough bones we need seven more no renars unfortunately but i don't think we'll be needing them for a while um, well, when I say a while, I mean this episode. This is an eight-hour episode we have to progress, so plenty of time. I don't think for this fight we will need um, prayer pots, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Next up, what we are going to do is go to Sears, and we are going to Fletch and Woodcut and get... Let's see what level I want to get. I need 43. Where's, where's Fletching? Where's Fletching? I need 43, which we're actually very close to already, because at 43, we have the plus 12 boost, 55, and we can make the uh, maple longbows unstrung. If we make 50 of those, we get 50 points. All right, so the maples over by the bank are completely crowded. Um, there is 43, so we're 55, but the boost... Uh, we'll just finish these off, but we're just going to chop them here. We only need two inventories. The reason I'm going to bank them is, beca is because I also want to string them as well just to get some crafting so maybe we can make some jewelry. Not right now, but later on, of course, and just getting that nice head start is, of course, pretty good with our added benefit of the already plus 12. So, and, and, and we also have nature runes. We can only low alk, but I'll probably just low alk when I'm walking from place to place just to get some magic experience and some money out of it. Ooh, we got some... Some guy woodcutting. Weenie puff. <laughs> nice. All right. There we go. 50 points. Let's just finish these off because we want to add the bowstring. And again, we're doing this just for some crafting and for some money. Trying to think more long term here, guys. One inventory got me to 17 crafting. All right. Let's take a gander. It's not going to be much. Uh, 1911. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 2167 minus 1911. 256 each. I mean, we get 384 if it was high alk, but it's it's, it's got to be this way, guys, because I need my money ASAP, um, and I don't feel like training magic. I feel like just camping a spot and training magic is a bit of a waste of time. I'd rather, you know, get my money quicker and get less of it. All right, Richard, we got some farming tasks. I think we have to rake, um, and we need to get some potato seeds. So we could actually pickpocket either a farmer or a master farmer, but I'm going to do the master farmer because I have 53 thieving with the boost. So, um, And potato seeds are very, very common. So let's hope we can get it relatively quick. 
could probably plant cabbage, but we just got potato as well, so it doesn't even matter. Ooh, trying to close the gate on me. All right, we got 10 points for raking, and we get 10 points for planting. To be honest, I don't really care if it dies. I just wanted that task right there. So, right, now we need 43 thieving, which we're actually really, really close to. Um, so let's go to probably silk. Silk is another way I thought about making money, but I don't know if it's the most beneficial long term. Maybe just arty nights is quicker. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. So we might have to do some investigating. All right, this should be 43 thieving. Yes, okay. So that's 55 for arty nights with a plus 12. And we can now come right in here. And it looks like everybody's already doing it. Don't attack it. I don't want to be that guy. I just want to see how much XP. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to need food and stuff. But I'm just really, really curious on the XP. 675! Okay, I need to do 50 of these, so I gotta figure out the best way to do that. I might just leave some cakes and then uh, come back, because cakes are obviously the quickest way to get food. So, oh, did I just fuck that up? I hope not. <laughs> and there's that task done. Okay, so let's refresh that by clicking on it. Okay, we are really zooming along. I, I hate this door. So broken the diagonal door. Anyways, the next thing we're gonna do is actually get 40 range so we can both enter the ranging guild and equip a maple short bow at 30 range. Should be really easy. Don't exactly know where I'm gonna train it. The chaos druids were too crowded, but I'll figure it out and uh, we'll get some XP. Okay, this should be the task done. 50 points coming in? Yes. No? Will a longbow unstrung? What? Why is that not giving us the task? Have I read this wrong? Oh, make a maple longbow. No, it was. It's, there was a willow one. There was a willow one. I'm so sure there was. Well, maybe not. Maybe I totally messed that up. I really thought I read that. But then maple's there, so I might have been maple. Oh, well, I'm going to go sell these. And then we're going to try and make a whacker canoe. That goes to the wilderness, which I haven't unlocked. But I don't know if it will let me make it. And then it will just say, you can't go to the wilderness. So uh, we're going to give it a go and see if that's going to work. Because that's another 50 points right there. This isn't too bad money either to be f with fletching. It's really not that bad. Uh, yeah, so let's go over to the canoe just there. And let's see if it's going to if it's gonna happen. Chop down. Shape the canoe into a whacker. Oh, yes. I think we just have to make it. I don't think we have to ride it. Beautiful. 50 points earned for that. Absolutely awesome. Okay, very, very happy. That's going to take us to 740 points until a new relic. So I feel like chopping a U might be a hard task or a medium task. So we're going to give it a go. Um, and also, if we get 50 wood cutting, that is another 50 points. So I'm just going to stay until that. See how quick this is going to be. Are we going to get anything? Nothing for that. Nothing for that. But it is 1,400 XP. That is pretty huge. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be quicker than doing willow or oak, though. There we go. That is 50 woodcutting coming in and 50 more points, taking us to 690 away from another relic. I'm going to go and do 20 laps of the Draenor agility course now, uh, just because uh, that's going to give us another 50 points. We've got to do 50 laps of a agility course, and I've already done 30 over at Draenor, so it just makes sense to go and hit that one. Uh, so we're going to do that, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to think about what I want to do next. So one of the problems in Twisted Leagues is finding a place to train. However, in last episode, I had some luck at the Barbarians, and here I am again also finding the same luck. Maybe it's not the best XP, but looking around, finding places to train, wastes a lot of time. I wanted to do the hill giants, but they were mobbed, and um, yeah, I wanted those big bones for prayer, but we're going to have to settle for these guys. We want 40 range. 40 range. Now check this out, guys. Check this out. You know what? We won't even finish off that kill. This is why I love this teleport so much. Boom. 50 points just for walking in. And we unlock the tanner because you can't use the one in Al Karid. And there's a task to make a leather body. Where is the tanner or the leather worker? I think I just talked to you. Can you tan something for me? I killed a cow before. Soft leather. Now we do need a needle and a thread. I hope I... Four minutes? Oh, okay. I'm just going to kill... Well, okay. Maybe the plan backfired a little bit there. <laughs> um, do we want to buy anything? Probably not. 
actually we could just buy like a coif um some van braces all right we got exactly what we needed use the needle on the leather craft that body and i'm pretty sure i didn't even do the task where i have to cook on the lumbridge oven the range there so i'm gonna cook this piece of raw chicken there and then do the rune mysteries quest because i can do the rune mysteries enter the essence mine and then craft any rune and those all three are tasks and locate an ulcer so it's 40 points pretty much from that one quest so bad news guys unfortunately the rune mysteries quest actually got auto completed so i'm assuming i got those points but um i need a talisman and i can't actually kill those wizards in asgarnia because of course i don't have it unlocked so i'm gonna have to skip craft rune but when we get an a uh, talisman for whatever any of the elemental will work just fine because we were level 17 with the boost so um we're gonna put that one on the back burner for now next up we have to complete demon slayer accidentally didn't record the quest complete but it was 50 points and i now want to actually make money for a dragon scimitar um i don't want to use it until i actually unlock the next relic because i could attack a lot quicker with it the, but but the thing is is that it gives 50 points still just for holding it and um the problem is making the money i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that yet i really um am in a bind here maybe i could woodcut and fletch the problem with that is i only have low alk I thought about the chests, the um, the Dorgenshin chests, but I don't have access to Asgarnia to sell to Port Serum. And if I don't do that method, I would need Alk. Um, maybe I should just train magic. Maybe I should just train magic, get 55 and say, screw it. Mm, do I want to do that? I might have to. Magic will go up pretty quick. I don't know what I'm going to kill. Everything is so swarmed. That's the issue. Okay, screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I tried to do the heal giants again. Not really the best move. It is so crowded. Although I did get some prayer levels, so I'm not that upset by it. What I'm going to do is grab the nasty hab out of the bank. Just go to tree spirits. The shitty thing about tree spirits is that you don't get any XP on the damage you hit. It's just pretty much the base experience. Um, so it's not the best. However, we will get a bunch of gnats for our money making later. 55 magic. That means high alchemy. We've got enough gnats, I'm pretty sure, to get us to 100k. Um, so I'm going to finish off this tree spear. Unfortunately, we did not get a rune axe for that 7k alk because, again, we already have one in the bank. Um, and then it's right to Seer's Village and just grind out 100k. And then buy that dragon scimitar, which is what we're going to be using for a while for all our Slayer, probably most of our fights from this point until we get a whip. And um, yeah, so a bit excited, also a bit nervous, you know, because the time is always ticking and it's right on screen. And I don't know if I'm efficient or not. Oh, and apparently you can teleport using the areas. I actually just learned this. I don't even know where this takes you to. Teleport don't take you to sears i am i'm actually hoping it doesn't take me to sears truthfully just because i did not know this for the whole first episode of the first 3 hours and 15 minutes of this episode uh where are we that's actually a really solid location wow wow okay well we learned something new today so we're on our last inventory, guys, and then it's on to actually getting the bowstring. But before we do that, there is actually a task to just cast a blast spell. Um, so yeah, 50. Didn't even realize that. I'm kind of going through tasks, which is why I'm kind of glad I'm semi-AFKing it. Every time, well, I'm okay, when I say AFKing, I don't mean I'm wasting XP, but it's something where I can click once and just wait a little bit, you know? Um, and I'm looking through tasks and try to plan my best move. And this guy actually yoinked my spot. I have to chop these simply because the other ones by the bank are so crowded and it's it's slower. Tested it my first like 75 or cut that way. Uh, we have one more inventory, then bowstring, and then I'm going to do something as I alk. Ooh, 700. Did I get points for that? I didn't even look. I don't think I did. And uh, this should be 50 laps. And that should be 50 points. Beautiful. Okay. While I was doing that, I had a lot of time to think. So let's get on to the tasks I want to do. So I just did a bit of Master Farmer pickpocketing so that we can now go and do a little bit of farming because there's a few tasks that revolve around farming. So let's take some stuff out. So if we buy one death rune here, fuck, that was expensive. Wow. Um, and we cast one wind blast. This should get us a 50 point for casting a wind blast spell or a blast spell even there we go beautiful oh and we hit an eight that killed it brilliant okay i'm gonna do some fishing now so let's go do that 
There is 50 points for catching 50 salmon. And now we are going to go and do swordfish and lobsters. Okay, so after a lot of fishing and cooking, we got ourselves 360 points away from the next relic. And we are 1,640 points. 50 points for completing the Falador agility. So we might as well go and do it. We've got the level anyway. And obviously it's within our area that we unlocked. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'm probably going to move on to... Probably need to get some flax over in Taverly, uh, get some flax together, and then uh, start fletching some shortbows. That's what I did earlier wrong, when I thought I could make the uh, the willow shortbow or longbow, whatever it was. I have to actually fletch one. Um, and on top of that, if we can get ourselves 40 crafting, I can get into the crafting guild, which is another 50 points towards a relic. So uh, yeah, that's the plan now, is to just get a bit of uh, fletching, crafting, and uh, and get ourselves those two big, big rewards. And I don't think I can fail from here, so it looks like we're going to get it done on the first attempt, which is lovely to see. Another 50 points coming in. Boom. Absolutely awesome. Five, 310 away from getting this completed now. Probably going to do two inventories. I think that should be enough to get us up to the crafting level of 40. If not, I'll probably just shear some sheep or something just to get the last one. Uh, let's go back to Falador. Boom. I'm loving this, honestly. I know a lot of you have said it's not great. I don't know, guys. I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan of it. So I, I'm loving this, the fact that we can go to so many places. And as we open up more areas of the map, we're just going to have more and more opportunities to uh, to get ourselves around to more teleport locations. Let's go to the areas. I can also do this, I believe. Uh, I just want to test it out. It's probably not worth it now. Whoops. Areas. I keep clicking tasks. Teleport. Not worth it though, because the animation's like 30 seconds long. But yeah, that teleport takes me here. Yeah, to this thing here. So I can either have like a quick teleport or a 30 second animation teleport and get there. So yeah, it just makes more sense. What's this? Channel. Okay. Don't know what that does. We'll have to look into that. Okay, yeah, that was easily enough. This is the first inventory and this is going to get us to 40 crafting. I am going to do all of them because I do want to get myself... Um, as many bowstrings as possible because it is going to be useful down the line. There's a few things like make a magic bow, make a magic short bow, etc, etc. Um, that we will need bowstring for. And obviously this speeds up fletching as well. So we are going to do the whole other inventory. And then we will uh, get to doing a bit more fletching. And hopefully get ourselves a few more points. I would like to get this one. I would like to get the next relic with about four hours left to go. I think we can do it because we're on to the 50 you know, point task now. Which really doesn't take long. At all, it's really speeding up the points. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, we got ourselves the 40 crafting. So let's go in here, and that's going to be 50 more points. Oh, I need a brown apron. I forgot about the brown apron. Just go and quickly buy a brown apron. Uh, yeah, while we did that, I also got myself um, a oak short bow made and a willow short bow made, and that gave us 60 points. So if we refresh this, 240 points till the next relic. When we get the brown apron, we can just buy one in Varrock here. Uh, that's going to take us to 190 points until the next relic, which is going to be very naughty. Right, we've got our Baron Apron. Boom, there we go. 50 points for that. Two, no, 40 going to 190. Beautiful. So with what we've got, we just mined everything we needed um, in the Mining Guild. We're firing off to the Cooking Guild now, which then gives us a really, really close access to the Anvil here. Make these bars into some things we can sell around Varrock. And then just teleport back to the mining guild. Job done. Just missed it, but we got the uh, mine 50 iron ore come through, which was another 50 points. So if we look at this now, 80 points until we get another relic. I'm going to start doing some motherlode mine now, um, just because we'll start to get a variety of things. And we're very, well, we can actually make steel bars now. So if we can get coal and iron at the same time, then we can start making those steel bars and, uh, and just get these levels through the roof and mining can make a lot of money if we sell all the plate bodies and stuff like that that we make so probably worth it okay so i've got the bars in the bank i haven't actually made them into anything because as soon as we get this cooking level ooh, one second let's actually make sure we go and buy let's get 100 boom uh, as soon as we get this cooking level it's going to take us to 60 cooking which will actually uh give us 100 points uh, we got 50 points for making a steel bar, which took us to 30 away. So we're going to get 100 points as soon as we get this cooking level, which is going to come in really, really soon. And then I'm going to have to make a decision on what relic I get. And I think 
I'm going for the range one, I think. But I'm not 100% set right now. Okay, I've decided I'm going for the melee one. I'm going for the melee one because later on, I think I'm going to go for the special attack relic at tier 6. Which means you get your special attack back really, really quickly. And if we can get ourselves like a god sword together, fighting at half the speed with a god sword and being able to continually use like BGS specs or AGS specs, Sara specs, it will be mental damage. It will be absolutely insane. There we go. I'm going to completely cook all of these and then we will pause the clock and I will look into just showing you what I'm doing. But I think melee, it also gives a 20, it gives a 15% damage reduction. So if I sit and camp like protect range with the 15% damage reduction, I don't think range would do that much damage to me. And then I just have to worry about melee in the fights. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. I really do. Uh, let's pause the clock as soon as we're done here. Boom. Beautiful. So just to quickly explain what each one does. Quick shot uh, increases your range attacks. Uh, have 100% increased accuracy against creatures and 50% against players. Um, they deal 10% more damage and you save 90% of your ammunition. Um, but I think I'm going to go for this one. The attack speed of all melee weapons is halved. Rounded up. Your melee attacks have 25 increased accuracy. You take 15% less damage from all sources. Your hit points regenerate at a rate of 4 hit points per minute instead of 1. And the passive effect we get with this is as well. Item from sources will be twice as common. So drops become twice as common um, with all of these tiers. The last one was just a magic one. Pretty much like an Avers for magic with some increased damage. I know range sounds really good. But if I just protect from range throughout every fight, it nullifies that so much. And range is such a massive DPS thing that he's probably going to put a lot of time and effort into range. Whereas you probably won't expect me to go down the melee route. And it means we can wear stuff like full Darok or whatever we get, you know, full barrows. Plus that damage reduction, plus protecting from range. I think it's so huge. And it's what I'm going for. I'm going to do it before I go back on it. Boom. Confirm. There we go. We've done it. Fluid strikes unlocked. Oh, I don't know if that was the right decision. I'm sure I'm going to get roasted, but there we go. Right, I'm interested to see how quick this is going to be. We've only got a steel simi because I actually made all my own weaponry. I had no food whatsoever. Right, let's attack this guy. Boom. Okay, this is just like, bang, constant. Constant hits. Uh, I oh my god, this is insane. Yeah, I think we'll stick on strength for now. And then I'll... Uh, I'll go to attack and get 60 attack ASAP. I'm here because I really want to get myself um, as many herbs as possible so we can start doing some herb lore. Um, because obviously, you know, we want to get ourselves uh, some super combats, etc, etc. So uh, yeah, that's the reason why we're here. Or super sets at least, uh, depending on how easily it is. There's a Rainar straight away and prayer pots. Exactly. This is incredible XP. All right, we're coming up on the last... Maple longbows that I want to fletch. I have a few more in the bank, but I want to save some bowstring, especially for the next task that I'm about to do. It requires it, but take a look at this. So check this out, guys. We have 251 elks that we have to do now. Now, this is going to get us enough money. Oh, well, there's a task right there. I forgot how high alchemy was one of them. Um, that's awesome. And right now, I'm actually going to the yew tree because wielding a yew short bow is actually a, uh, a task. And I can make those now. Speaking of my levels, we actually can chop magic trees now. We can't quite fletch um, magic short bows. They are actually 80, long bows 85. Um, let's hold this short bow real quick. Let's get this over with. Um, this is actually the best bow that we have as well. So task complete. Just really going to go through them. So I'm not going to actually spend time alking the maple longbows. I'm just going to do a bunch of tasks. And when I'm walking like this, I'm just going to alk away and get the 100k so we can buy that dragon scimitar. Sweet, guys. So I teleported to the fishing trawler using the minigame teleport. I actually got everything I need to do some fishing and do a lot of tasks. But first we are going to... Oh, it's Caroline. First we're going to do the sea slug quest. Um, we're not actually going to fish right now either, but I just want to buy it now since I was in the area. Let's do this quest really quick. And then we're actually going to uh, pickpocket a Renar seed. All right, speak to Caroline. Let's see how much XP this gives us. Should get us quite high. 44 fishing. <laughs> the numerator hasn't even updated yet. Also a task. 
task but like i said it's mainly for all those fishing tasks that we have later not like the fishing xp wasn't going to be quick anyways but we're going to do a bit of a slower one right now let's go to the what are they called the master farmers right over here just north of our dune and we are going to try to get one renar seed because it's 50 points and that's a lot so Let's see if we can get it done quick. This could take a while, but I could also probably alk in the process. We got it mad early. We got it so early. Oh, I'm so thankful for that. Oh my gosh. Look, guys, I barely gained any thieving. Okay, let's, um, uh, what was I going to do? Right, we actually want to teleport to our house, but through the traditional means, because teleporting with a law rune actually gives a task. Then we're going to build a, we're going to enter the POH and build a room because those are two tasks as well. Um, also, I just realized the light a torch, it didn't actually count as lighting a torch. Did I drop my torch? Didn't count it when doing the sea slug quest, but, um, I knew I had two laws. Uh, no, let's put that. This, I could tell you, right? Uh, it should automatically put it in Karamja, correct? Oh my gosh, that's so great. Okay, building mode. Where's building mode? Shit, here we go tasks just pouring in you love to see it you love to see it and we're about to get another one actually let's just build a parlor because it's cheap don't really care don't think i'll be training construction anytime soon okay what am i gonna do now okay now we can build a waka canoe so let's go right home and um build that waka do we have an axe we do perfect all right so let's make the waka this should be 50 points then we're going to take this right to, what's it called? Barbarian Village. That's the closest one. Edge, is that real closer? I think Barbarian might be a little closer. I'm not sure, but we want to go to Varrock. And here's where we finish up. 20 more laps at the rooftop agility course. I have to do Varrock. I can't do, um, what's it called? Canifis, because of course I don't have Mortinia unlocked. So this will get us 50 points. It's also a perfect excuse to Alk. Um, just to keep knocking off more tasks, getting XP, and getting us closer to that dragon scimitar. I didn't even realize this when I got it. We are actually way over the points needed for our next relic. Now, I've thought incredibly, incredibly, incredibly long and hard on all of these. I'm not going to do double cast. It was definitely between the first two, quick shot or fluid strikes. Now, let's quickly look at quick shot. Of course, the attack speed is halved, which is the same for melee. Your range attack is 50%. Now, I'm mainly focused on the PvP aspect of this, simply because this is a PvP challenge. That 100% accuracy is probably very good for bossing, but obviously the style that you pick here is going to be your main hand, your main combat style for the final fights or not, the final fight and every fight going forward you get 10 percent more range damage now if we take a look at the melee one of course weapon speed is halved your melee attack speed is 25 percent increase so it's half that of range unfortunately that does suck but melee is more powerful and has a higher attack bonus and is usually more accurate anyways now range at the plus 10 boost to damage but this, you take 15% less damage from all sources. So if anything, this nets a little bit higher than what he can do if he went range. Really, really, really thinking about it, guys. Endgame. There's a lot more melee weapons. Melee is a lot more easier to boss with. Maybe with some exceptions, I think melee is going to be faster slayer. Maybe if you send Jad tasks over and over, maybe it's quicker. But overall, I need to get these stats up anyways. I could do it through slayer. A whip isn't going to be that hard. A whip is only going to be, what is it, 73 Slayer. Imagine a whip at half the attack speed, you know? I think that's more powerful than, say, a rune crossbow at half the attack speed. And then I could take that whip to, say, God Wars Dungeon if I want to unlock Asgarnia. I could take it to Barrows to even kill the minions faster. I definitely don't want to do the mage one again. I've thought long and hard about this. I don't know if I'm making the right decision. This is, like, the second day this, you know, this is out. There's no way to say which is the better one, which one is the worst one, when I have no idea which one Link is going to pick. Based on the first episode, I have no idea where he's going, but I think end game, this one is going to be more beneficial. Plus, I have the Dragon Scimitar now. Um, I mean, I could probably make a Magic Shortbow not too far from here, but I do think that a whip is going to be one of the best weapons in the game, 
for what I'm concerned with with PvP. Plus, I just think the hit points regeneration is very good for just overall playstyle. The 50% less damage it will make Slayer a lot easier. Um, so we're going to do it, guys. We are going to do it. I really hope I don't regret this, but I'm pretty confident with my decision. They both have a lot of pros and cons, and this one just sits better with me. Okay, so I've been making some money over the last, you know, half an hour or so. We've been mainly doing fletching. It's been working fairly well. 10k now. I'm going to buy myself a house which is going to cost us a little bit of money, but it does give us some points. Uh, also going to go visit the Essence Mine and get myself some Essence, because that's another task over in Falador to uh, make some air runes. So I'm going to do that as well. And I'm just really going to start just chipping away at these 41 tasks. I'm not too bothered about getting the next relic. Uh, it's more about getting these tasks done so I can unlock the next area, because sort of re sort of realized the area that I uh, unlocked wasn't the best, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, a bit fuming with that. But, oh, well, it's the way it goes. We'll catch up. We will catch up. It's just first few episodes, I might take some losses here for uh, for a poor choice of first area. But, the way it goes. This should be base level 10 coming in. Unless I've been a total idiot. I'm pretty sure it is. Base level 10. Yeah, there we go. So, everything is level 10 or higher now. Just quickly finishing off the new uh, Slayer quest. Which will give us, hopefully, 8,000 Slayer XP and 5k as well. Which is really, really nice. So we just got to speak to uh, someone in Draenor after this and then we're done. Oh, there we go. There was the money. We're up to 11k. Thank you very much. There we go. Task completed. Complete a poor sign of interest or porcupine. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. Do you want to slay a task? Yeah, fuck it. Go on then. 46 spiders. Let's go and do it. And I've also worked out with me having half the speed of melee weapons. I think the rune axe is actually my best um, melee weapon. So... That's taking us down to 29 tasks. Let's do this. So I'm pretty much just running around trying to do as many tasks as possible because we need to get these 24 done because as as Garnia really isn't cutting it, we need to get to Kanderin pretty ASAP. So I'm just really doing everything I can to complete 24 tasks and then we're going to go. Uh, they're all pretty mundane and boring, so I probably won't bore you with too many of them. But uh, I'm going for 30 range here so that we can put on... Uh, 20 range even, sorry, so that we can put on the studded body and top um, of body and legs. And I might even go for 30 so we can uh, equip a maple shortbow because that's a task as well. So we haven't really decided yet, but probably do both of those now. Going on a bit of a rune crafting grind here. There's actually a load of stuff we can do. But yeah, what is that? Twisted blueprints. 23 mil there just dropped. Brilliant. Um, yeah, there's quite a, a lot of stuff we can do with rune crafting. And so we're going to go ahead and do... Let's have a look. Uh, water, cosmic, body, natures, air runes. Um, and if we make 200 essence into uh, runes, we also get some uh, points as well. So there's a load of points up for grabs just by doing some basic rune crafting. And with the 12 plus boost, I'm going to be able to do some pretty decent runes. Like if we can start making nature runes, that's pretty naughty. So let's use this on here. And I believe this should be a task. It might We might have to make 50 actually. So I might have to grab myself another... Oh, there we go. Craft 50 water runes. Or, oh, I got the double, didn't I? That makes sense. Um, and we're going to use the ring to get back to... You know what? I might actually go to the Grand Exchange. It's so close to a bank uh, right here. And then we can use the ring to get back. Just realised I don't have a nature talisman. I don't have a cosmic talisman. And I don't think the abyss is usable um, without doing wildy. I'll have to look into it, but I'm pretty sure it isn't, so a little bit annoying there. Uh, I guess I'm just going to do some rune crafting. If we get level 33, uh, we can make four air runes at once, which is also a task as well. So we can do that, um, and of course we need to make 200 essence into um, runes anyway, so that is something we had to do. So uh, yeah, we'll still get some we'll still get some tasks here, but uh, we're missing two or three that I thought I was going to be able to do. Bit annoying. Finally got this one done. Boom. In the Wizard's Tower. On day of release, this was so busy you couldn't kill the Lesser Demon. I think we should get another one as well. Yeah, two. That is 60 points there. Uh, one for killing a Lesser Demon and one for killing the Lesser Demon in the Wizard's Tower. So that is awesome. Let's use the Fairy Ring. I'm not neglecting farming either, which I think is something Kins might do. I think it's going to be a really, really good skill actually for us. I'm um, just going to get myself everything together. Let's... Note the tomatoes because we're going to use them later to pay for patches. 
Uh, I think this is going to be enough. We need to get some cabbages. And this is actually a task to pay a gardener to look after your crops. And with two sacks of cabbages, we can look after some potato seeds or tomato seeds even. Um, so that will be another task done. And we're getting really, really close to uh, unlocking the next area. And to be fair, the points aren't looking too bad either. I haven't really been focusing on points, but I'm quite happy. How many do you need? Is it 10 in a sack? Also, a game of Tears of Guthics is a uh, requirement as well, which is very nice because I think this will get me a herb lore level uh, if we do a decent game, which I'm really not at the moment. But it will be a task, and I think it will be a herb lore level, which might bring me to 20 in all skills as well, which is another task to complete. So uh, things are looking quite good at the moment. I think they massively reduced the time on uh, Tears of Guthics in leagues because that was ridiculously short. 4,000... Oh yes, drink from the Tears of Guthix, 4,000 XP in the uh, Herb Lore, and we also get reach base level 20. Let's have a look, we are now 12 tasks away from being done. Couple of tasks being completed here. Uh, luckily it looks like I've brought enough food, but we have to kill a lesser demon. Actually we don't have to kill a lesser demon, I've already done this. But oh well, we'll get the experience. Um, and then we're going to use the dusty key I just got through this door. Um, and that will be a task as well to open that gate and then we're going to kill a blue dragon which is another task and burying dragon bones is a task as well so uh, yeah we have a few tasks coming up here just in this small little area I forgot that we killed the lesser demon before so <laughs> there we go there's another lesser demon any decent drop I'll take 12 chaos runes to be fair let's open the gate and that is a task there beautiful and now we're going to kill a dragon let's get the aggro of a little one nice and let's sit here, and boom, we should be good here. Oh my god, no. There we go, brilliant. Okay, so we're going to kill this one, and that's going to be two tasks completed. Killing a dragon and burying its bones as well. Here comes the kill. Boom, what are we going to get? Uh, nothing, just coins. Okay, brilliant. And if we bury this, how much XP do we get? 576. Wow. Okay, there's two more tasks done, which takes us to eight tasks. That was three tasks there. Eight tasks left, and then we are done. Uh, bury some wyvern. Oh my god, look at the points. Through the roof. Oh, don't want to die here. There we go, nice. Nearly 3,000 points. I really haven't been going for points. I just want to unlock the next area, but passively we are getting these points so nicely. So I'm probably just going to kill dragons until I work out what I want to do next. We've got a few tasks left, as I said, uh, eight left. Um, but we're getting like 500 prayer XP per bone, and I could really do with getting maybe like, uh, uh, I guess 37 is a bit of a stretch with how many runes I have. Uh, but you know, it's just a little bit of prayer levels that will help. Uh, there's also a task to get to 50 combat, so maybe a few prayer levels here would help as well. So while I think, we're just going to kill some dragons. Okay, I know how I got confused now. We're going to take a risk here. Oh god, please don't one hit me. Out of there. Out, 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 out. Okay. Whew. Um, we have to kill a black demon, and that's around the corner here. So we're gonna go do the black demon because that is another task, and I would like to complete these tasks as quickly as possible. So very nice. We got through there with no damage, and yeah, there should be some black demons just here, and uh, I think we can save spot very easily, which uh, will make this a very easy task. I think we can just go around the corner actually. Can we just get him here? He's not going to run away or something. Going to get a task from Vanica, and that is a requirement for 10 more points. Boom, 33 spiders. That's an easy task as well. And there is that goal complete. Okay, what do I have next on my list? Next, we are going to catch 50 salmon. So we can actually do that. Oh, I got to bank it. So maybe we should go to Shiloh. Let's go to Shiloh. Where does the Karamja teleport take you to? Let's go check it out together, guys. Uh, okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's just run down there. Actually, Shiloh Village is done, right? So I could take the cart. Oh, I better be able to. Apparently, that in itself is 50 points, but we also have to catch 50 salmon, uh, cook 100 lobsters, catch 100 lobsters, and catch 50 swordfish. That's what the current goal is. So probably when I finish all of those, I will let you guys know. All right, so this inventory should get us to the 100 lobsters cooked. I still have to catch 100 swordfish, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. 
because I think there's more important things than getting 50 points by a pretty slow method. So for right now, I'm going to walk up to Apatol and I'm going to buy that uh, Dragon Scimitar, guys. And that's going to be a lot of points right there. Before we actually get our hands on a Dragon Scimitar, I think if I we can trade... Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's just buy a few because they're really cheap, right? Yeah, two coins each. And this, of course, will tell us right here. I don't know why I don't have my orb on me, but I hear the orb is an amazing combination with the Royal Seed Pod. Okay, now I don't think I actually need a Monkey Speak Amulet or a Grigri because Monkey Madness 2 is complete. Um, and I don't think you actually get the XP. Uh, no, you definitely don't because I did look it up. Nope, that's not Daga. Here we go. Please don't tell me this dude bought it out. Dragon Scimitar. Oh. <laughs> Wait. That's also one right there. Right? Spec with the dragon equipment? Yeah, it's 100 points. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Wait, what's this one? Okay, that's the special attack one. Holy crap. Look at these tasks, guys. We're killing it. Look at all of our food as well. We can start actually decently training combat. Now, I do want to do one Slayer task just to get us some levels for the final fight, as well as to complete a bunch of tasks. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. But first, I think we have one part of Recipe for Disaster done. I want to see if I could buy any gloves, even if it's the worst gloves there are. Second to worst, bronze gloves. <laughs> just real quick, I'm very curious on the stats. Uh, plus two strength. Yeah, fuck yeah, we'll take it. So I don't really want to slay efficiently, or I should say long term, until I actually get the times 12 multiplier. That's a great task, but we're about to get a lot. So if we trade Vanica, if we buy a spiny helmet and a bug lantern. Oh, do I have to light this? We'll see, but we put these two things on. Did we get the task done? Yes, equip a harpy bug lantern, spiny helmet, and if we buy a gem... And if we check our task, that is also one. Boom, check your Slayer task. We can come right back to Vanica if we teleport from here. But also, Hill Giants are actually right down here, so we probably won't do that. That task is perfect. Um, hopefully, it's not too crowded. Uh, we also need to train some prayers. So, yeah, I'll definitely take this one. I cannot believe how fast this is. I mean, I'm not hitting that great because my stats are garbage, but... Look how fast the Dragon Scimitar is, guys. Like, I'm terrified for the fights because the, the combos are going to be unreal. Like, it's just going to be a train wreck. It's whoever combos first, I'm, I'm scared that's going to be the victor. You don't even have to kill the person. If you can keep hitting them so much to the point where they can't eat, they can't put any damage on the other person, and then that's going to be the fight. Doesn't matter range or melee, I really think both could very well have that possibility. But um, this is going to be crazy, right? Not the best XP with this task, but uh, we're just going to do one task. Like I said, um, we can get the prayer, and then I don't know what we'll do. We'll have to find a way to train some prayer levels, because after seeing this, I definitely want 43 prayer by the time this episode's over. Just got an uncut diamond. If we can cut this, which we can... Um, that's a DDS, or a Dragon Dagger, which we can ultimately poison. I don't know if I'll do it this episode, because I feel like I have bigger fish to fry than, um, a spec weapon right now, because, of course, I'm thinking more long-term than necessarily winning this fight, but it's like everything's just coming together so, so nicely. This should be the task complete. I can't believe I'm 31 Slayer, guys. Wow. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to tell you I'm out of here. I'm not going to get a task from Vanica just because I'm not sure if I'm going to use him next, but... Wow, just wow. This should be the task complete. I can't believe I'm 31 Slayer, guys. Wow. Okay, well, anyways, guys, I'm going to tell you I'm out of here. I'm not going to get a task from Vanica just because I'm not sure if I'm going to use him next, but wow, just wow. So I decided to keep doing Slayer. I was thinking about it. I could do things like get better armor. I could do things like get jewelry. I could do things like slay and slayer will give me combat experience i wanted to save slayer until i was actually getting the 12 times but this will help me secure this fight and give me a head start into the next fight and of course we still want to try to win each of the fights and of course i got ogres as my first task roast away guys roast away i'm a bit scared it's going to be um uh, shit where am i going to kill them because it's a bit common of a task isn't it or a common place to to kill things this may be stupid but ogres warriors 
I am very low combat, but they drop rune full helms, they drop rune med helms, they drop rune battle axes, all things I can elk. And it looks like it's open. Okay, I'm going to train defense first just so I can get some defense levels because I'm going to get absolutely annihilated here. Goodbye to all the food I just fished. I have to make sure I save some for the fight or buy some elsewhere. Thankfully, even with my shitty stats with the uh, power-ups, I am still doing a decent amount of damage. Okay, let's focus on that defense first. So let's at least get 40. And hopefully the rune equipment counts as half the drop rate as, um, you know, just because it's half now. That was the last relic upgrade that I got. Mythkite, first upgrade. First upgrade. Already paying off. And I needed a ruby to make a strength amulet. And it's a task. <sighs> Everything really is coming together now, guys. And this is OP. Look at this. Right back to where we left off. Forgot to pick up a bone. We will definitely bury that bone. And it happened. Rune full helm, guys. The first rune drop we have. Any other helms that we get, whether full helm, a medium helm, or even the battle axe, it's all going to go straight to Alks to then spend on armor for this fight. So, looking so good. And this is going to help us a lot just killing these guys. Because the amount of food I was eating is ridiculous. I'm already through all my trout. Oh, we're in business, guys. Look at this. My second rune helm. This one's a medium helm, but it will be Alk. Do I have any fire runes? I don't. It's like 11k, honestly. I'm taking so much damage still. Um, the next Alk I get, I'm going to take a little break and go buy some armor. Because I can get some Addy really easily. I don't think I'll be able to get full rune this episode. Definitely no kite, obviously, but if I can get like a chain and plate legs, how sick would that be? Although I think I'm gassing it a little bit, especially because only 62 left, and I probably won't kill him past the task because I still want to progress my account long term rather than the short term. And it kind of feels weird slaying without a 12 times multiplier, honestly. But. Oh, these XP rates now are still doing me so nice. 44 Slayer already. So we just got our second Rune Med Helm. Also, a lot, a lot of Mithril Kites to also Alk as well. Um, so right at this inventory, we're probably going to Alk it and then buy some Addy equipment. Got another task here, which is make a steel plate body. Boom, 37 coming in as well. 50 points for that. Absolutely massive. Going to go kill a troll now. So uh, that's the next task. And again, this coming in clutch, I'm telling you guys, you're sleeping on the uh, Eternal Jewelry, uh, or whatever it's called. I think it's really, really good. I've got so many teleports around the world. If I had the other one, I would have one teleport back and forth, back and forth. Not that great. Um, tank test here, though, guys, because we are about to run past the trolls that throw the uh, rocks at you. So, are we going to make it? That's the question. Luckily, we've got that Eternal Run, so that's not going to... Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. We've got our uh, lobsters. <laughs> oh, God. Tank test. Oh, this is way easier than I thought it was going to be. Boom, there we go. Steel Warhammer, we'll take it. How many points or tasks are we away now? Three tasks. Okay, we can do this. So we need to do five Slayer tasks, and then we get points, and then uh, that's actually a task. And we got a Sour Hog task here, which is going to be insane melee XP and Slayer XP. Uh, on top of that, they drop an Addy Scimitar, which would be an upgrade. One in 55. Obviously, we have the uh, we have the half drop rate, so it's around a one in 25 to 30, around that sort of area. Um, so, if we can pull ourselves an Addy Sim here, that would be unreal. No, we're just going to pull a fucking curved bone. Are you joking? How's that not a task? How is that not a task to get a curved bone? Come on. That's ridiculous. This is going to be 50 combat coming in once we get this hit point level, I believe. Yeah, 50 combat, which is another task. 50 points for that. We are now, I believe, two tasks away. When we update this, I think it's going to be two. Yeah, two tasks away. Nearly 3,000 points as well. And we don't get our Addy Sim. I thought, you know, it'd be a perfect clip if we just got the Addy Sim there as well. But it's going really well. Slayer XP is like uh, 40k an hour and we're getting 150 attack XP an hour right now. Hey, we got it. Yes, that's so nice. It's going to speed the uh, attack speed up by one. So we're now attacking at a two tick. Oh my god. Wow. This is insane. Um, so yeah, that is that is way, way better. That was really nice to see that coming through. Uh, getting close to finishing the task as well. 14 left. 
been a really good task. It's given us nearly fit. We're probably going to get 50 attack. Uh, it's given me a few prayer levels as well through the big bones. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. Here we go, guys. This is the last task until we are going to unlock Kandarin. I think we just need to touch this mushroom tree. Or I think we might have to go to the house on the hill. Oh, there we go. Boom. Fully unlock the... I don't know how to say that word. Boom. Right, let's stop the clock. 50 minutes exactly. Uh, I'm currently poisoned, which isn't great, but... Areas. It has to be Kandarin. It has to be. Let's do it. I'm locking it in. Kandarin. Unlocked. Boom. Let's do this. We're looking fancy. Kandarin area unlocked. Boom. Let's start the clock, and I need to get out of here. Okay, just getting myself killed here. I might take that rope as well, actually. That might be useful. Um, and then we're going to go straight to Kandarin, and I'm going to do some pickpocketing. We're going to do some uh, Ardy Knights, because I need money. And that is going to be such a huge way to make money. So, over to Kandarin. Let's teleport. And boom. Let's get ourselves over to those Ardy Knights and start pickpocketing. We can use the cake stall for food, so we've pretty much got just an unlimited supply of food and thieving. 65 thieving at the moment as well, so we shouldn't fail, like, every time. It should be a decent amount of money we make. Um, let's go and do it. Kandrin, hello. Let's see how this is going to go. First pickpocket is successful, second one not. Okay, alright, and we get 50 coins per pickpocket. Should be some decent XP and some decent money coming through. This is, like, going to be actually insane XP, I believe. You know what? I think I'm going to go and do the uh, rogue mini game, whatever it's called, to get the outfit. I think that's what I'm going to do, uh, just because we'll miss out on so much GP, and I really think it's going to be worth it. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, Berthorpe, boom. Right, the boost doesn't work. You can't do it at um, 41 with a boost of 53. So unfortunately, you can't do the uh, rogue mini game at the moment. Sort of tempted to go and do agility, to be honest. So I've just kind of scrapped that idea, and I'm just going to do a load of tasks to see how many points we can get because, and I think we can do this. Yeah, we can. Oh, these quests are all done for us as well. I think if we do this, and if this moves out of the way, we do this. I think we get another task as well. Uh, yeah, we do. Beautiful. Uh, if we can get these points done, if we can get the next relic, our XP goes to 12 times. So I really want to get that relic as soon as possible so that we can do the 12 times XP. Because that would just be massive. Massive. Rather than the 8 we're currently getting. Okay, so here's what I actually decided to do. Buy full green... Actually, am I going to buy the van braces? I guess we could just simply buy them. I want to save for room plate legs or room plate skirt. Um, I'm going to head to Edgeville and buy a green dehyde body. Because he, he, here's what I'm thinking. He went magic last fight. I really don't think he's going to go magic again. But if he does, I, I might be in trouble. If, especially if he's got the magic you know, upgrade thing. I don't think he did. But i got to cover all my bases here. The green dehyde body is really good against magic defense. And if I show up to the final fight, green dehyde body, rune plate skirt, mithril kite shield, with the Dragon Simi, I'll feel pretty confident. Plus, I'm sure I'll be ranging at some point to get at my total level, or maybe I just need range for something. So having a green dehyde body isn't the worst thing in the world. Because I forgot I can't actually buy... Um, what's it called? I can't actually buy Addy Plate Legs because that is locked in the desert region, which I will not be unlocking. So I might be bringing green dehyde chaps to the fight, but I really hope not. But the green dehyde body, I think I'll definitely be going for. Unless I get extremely lucky, then I might make a power move and just flex the rune plate body on Link. But I mean, I'd have to get like three battle axes and a full helm in the next, how many kills? 40. So <laughs> probably not going to happen, but let's buy this. Also, since while we're here, Let's buy one of these, because we might need it at some point. One more Runefall Helm, guys. That means we need either one more Runefall Helm on top of this, or the Battle Axe, and that's Rune Plate Legs. So let's really hope so. Let's see how many we have left. 15? I will definitely come back here if I need money. 100% the best money maker. Ah, uh, not what I needed, but it gets us pretty close. Oh, can we not alk it? We have the stupid... Ah, uh, crap. Okay, that's going to be around 60k, though. And I think it's 64k. Oh, I could definitely scrounge some stuff in the bank, like runes. Sell it to the general store or something and, and get that remaining GP if I need it. The next kill. Literally. No joke. 
Sorry, P uh, Posty Pete, who is it? Molly? No, I, I mean, I like doing randoms for gems, but I have so much gems from here. Let's just overeat. I'm so overwhelmed right now. Oh, gosh. I'm out of fire runes. Fuck, so I can't out this, but that's enough. The task is complete. Okay, definitely have to take that off, but let's alk that. Alk this. 87k? Holy shit. I mean, I could get a rune plate body right now if I wanted to, but it's definitely not the smarter option. Scavo, rune plate skirt. Looking so incredibly fierce right now. So when I was here before, I forgot to pick up some molds, and I hate myself for it. We should just buy all of them, to be honest. You can also buy this chisel. Um, okay, needle and thread you can get here. I mean, actually, let's just buy it. It'd be horrible if I had to thieve more ham members for that. Um, let's teleport to Kandarin now. Teleport. Yep, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually make the um emerald ring the ruby amulet which is 50 points each and then we're going to complete the easy arty diary so we get the cape and some prayer bonus i almost screamed i forgot to buy an amulet mold or maybe they don't sell it in um in um apis hole but i actually got an amulet mold drop from barbarians barbarians of all places also just cut an emerald for some really 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 easy points um so let's go here create this then we want to create this then we need to use that on that and this should be back to back 50 points then we make our strength amulet oh yes that's like plus two max hit and we're hitting the speed of knives with this thing it's gonna be intense i got full ham minus the cape before i got one rusty sword i got four damaged plate bodies which are actually the same rarity one in 25. Whew. A little bit stressed, but I still have enough time to complete it. And um, yeah, so that's all I really want to do by the end of this episode. All right, two pints. It's finished. It's finished. We get the Artie Cloak 1, an amazing teleport to get to the Fairy Rings. I mean, it's really good for thieving, plus two prayer. Defense isn't really anything. We get stab attack and stab defense. As far as the lamp is concerned, definitely going to put it in prayer because I want protection prayers. 20k. Oh, I'm not quite there. I could do protect from range. Oh, horrible. So to wrap up these eight hours, I want to see if I could buy some cram wands. I know I'm going to spend some. Ooh, this guy's looking fierce over there. Oh, yeah, shit. Does it come back quick? Does it come back like wines? I have a minute. I have a minute to do this. Three seconds, one in there. Ah, okay. We didn't get as much as I would have wanted to. Uh, what is that? 8, 9, 10, 11. Plus, we have the lobsters. Oh, okay, guys. I'm going to get all my gear together, and I will quickly run down my gear for this episode. So, guys, here we are. Quick look at our stats. We have the Dragon Simi with a 60 attack, 63 strength, 50 defense. Nice all around. I didn't focus too much on it. A lot of that is just from that one Slayer task, so... Link could have easily kind of grinded his stats up and could beat me. I know he didn't unlock Kandarin, so he won't have a Dragon Simi unless, uh, unless he somehow... I, mean, I guess it's possible if he just sends easy tasks to have Kandarin unlocked as well. But um, yeah, here we are. I'm very proud of the gear. I guess it could be a little better here and there, but again, I want to focus more on long-term planning as well. I could have gotten nitpicky things like a Ring of Recoil pots you know it's a simple attack potion a simple strength potion maybe even a simple defense potion um but i really want to focus on getting my tasks done we already have a decent chunk to our next relic and that's when i want to really send the xp because it's times 12 then and things like combat things like slayer it's going to be much much quicker so that's probably going to be my plans the next time send tasks get the times 12 boost and then send slayer and see where we can get to. We're already 49 Slayer, which is quite ridiculous. I made sure I got some combo healing food here as well. That's why I wanted to buy those last second, just because we, we've we seen how fast the Dragon Scimitar is. If his range is even faster, combos are going to be unreal, especially that I don't have 43 prayer, which is the task too, so I'm actually quite sad I didn't get that. But next time, we'll definitely have that very easily. So I really want those combo food. It's also a really easy task to fish and cook those, and I want to get a bunch because we're going to use them in every single fight i'm sure going from this point forward so with that said guys that's going to wrap up my progression here and i will see you in the final fight this has actually worked a lot better than i thought it was going to i'm actually firing through tasks because i've already got so many skills because there wasn't much to do 
in the first area. Oh, I can't do it here, can I? Okay, we'll have to give some blood builds somewhere else. But um, yeah, as I was saying, because I've got so many skills, I could just go ahead and do like some pretty big tasks. I can go catch a monkfish, and that's 100 points just right there. Um, I killed a tortoise earlier, and that was 50 points. It's just like coming in so, so quickly. And with our ring of wealth, we can get right to the GE. Use the Draymon staff to get over to the Piscatorius fishing colony. And boom, that's going to be 100 points. Our first uh, hard task, I believe, that I've done. I don't think we've had a hard task done before. So let's go ahead and do it. And uh, yeah, we've got, what, 70 fishing. It was bloody nuts. Boom, there we go. 100 points just for catching a monkfish. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And there's another task, pickpocket an RD knight 50 times. That's 50 more points there. They are just rolling in. Uh, cool, more money. Beautiful. And I think this is another one as well. Enter the fishing guild. <laughs> another 50 points. Oh, this is just insane. Insane XP. Or <laughs> XP? Relic points. This is crazy. The next task we need to do is make 50 maple longbows. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just sort of sit here, think about what I want to do. 28 minutes left. We're probably not going to do much else other than this. Um, in this episode, 50 of these is probably going to take a while, though we're doing it quite quickly, so maybe not. But, yeah, I'm just going to look through the task and see what, uh, what I want to do. So I think this should be enough, and I've just got my first beginner clue which is actually like a thing you have to do i think i have a chef's hat yeah i definitely do there's 50 more points there i've got a chef's hat and i think i can buy a red cape from Thacilla in varrock so i'm going to try and do this before the timer runs out we've got 17 minutes i think it's the other side of this fence guys I'm, i have to do this uh hotter and colder thing and yeah i'm pretty sure it's over the other side of the fence which is our grid and unavailable to us so that's a bit annoying bit of a waste of time but that's the way it goes a task that I know we can do is catch a Crimson Swift. So let's go and do that. Let's plant this bad boy down. I probably could have uh, got two, to be fair. I think we've got the hunter level. I think it's 20 for two traps. But anyway, let's go at one of these. I think it's just a 10-point um, task. I don't think it's a 50. I think that would be quite a lot of points for this. Come on. There we go. Let's pick this up. And I think it's 10 points. 10 points. Boom. There we go. How are we looking? 670 points until the next relic. Oh, and we got another 10 points for catching... Okay, I have no idea what that was. We got 20 points for some reason. Just going to finish the last four minutes off with a little bit of range training. If we can get 40, we can enter the uh, the ranging guild. And with the ranging guild comes 50 points. So uh, definitely worth going and doing. And I pickpocketed by accident. Okay, stop the timer just before the second because the uh, the noise is very annoying. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've gone really hard on the skills and the points and, and unlocking everything, but I haven't really factored in the fight. So I think it's going to be another loss for me this week. But to be honest, I think I've done really well in pushing the account into a really good place. I think this could be the last week where I go into a fight feeling like I'm going to lose. I feel like Kins was quite far ahead of me already, and he probably had some time to put some combats together and actually get a decent setup. So I'm not expecting to win this one at all. Uh, we're going to go in fighting. We're not going to go in and, and throw it. We're going to give it our best go. Uh, I think probably going with the Addy Long, Addy Scimitar is probably going to be the best bet. Um, and we'll see if that's going to work or not. But let's go to the fight and see if we can beat Kinos. So this is how we're going to go into the fight. We've got ourselves an attack potion and we've got ourselves a load of lobsters. Not the best defensive stuff at all. I just don't have the money at the, at the moment. You know, I'd love to be rocking up in, in full myth or something like that. But uh, unfortunately, just don't have the uh, the GP to do that. Next episode, we will. We'll be able to do RD Knights. We'll be able to do the, uh, you know, Rogue outfit, which would give us so, so much money. Um, so, yeah, we will get a lot of money together very, very soon. But just this episode was the last episode of being poor, I'd say. Um, and then we're really going to push on. But let's see. Linky boy, how are we doing, man? Yeah. After eight hours, dude, we are yeah. here. It's a long time. You could fit a lot of shit in eight hours, and I realized that the hard way by continuously running out of things to do and finding more really? tasks to complete. Well, I was doing right. shit. What I did was I underestimated the time of how long things would take. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that was my issue. But here we are after eight hours. Um, Your overall thoughts? Uh, so, I mean, with with the last fight, I was very behind on points, and I also feel like I picked a bad area. So, 
I'm not going to lie, mate. I, I think I'm going to lose this week. I really do. But I also think I'll be fuming if you're beating me on points. Right. Fuming, so you, but I, I you don't solely, think you will be. You solely focused just points. I got a little bit of combat along the way of doing points. But mm. it was points, points, points. Because I needed to open up my next area ASAP. I really did. Right. I would say, okay, you're, you're probably beating me then. Because I probably maybe five to eight hours was points, points, points. The other right, three hours, okay. you'll see. <laughs> uh, you'll God, really see. Yeah. Um, so, Link, combat level reveal. Let's do it. Let's God, do it. I'm just gonna. Go. I'm just gonna fire us in. Three, right. two, one, go. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> God, no. oh, oh God, Link! Oh, wow. Link, okay. what happened there, man? I oh, I, just, right. I needed the points. Dude. All right. I needed them. I have two thousand eight hundred and ten. You, I'm expecting. Oh, you to kill really? That. Yeah. I have three thousand three hundred and thirty. Wow. Wow. Ooh, okay. okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Makes me feel a lot better. That's good. How All many right. tasks completed? Um, one hundred and fifteen. One hundred fifty-one. Oh, so you unlocked your next area? I have, mate. I have. It's happened. Tell me. Please, please tell me you pick Kandarin, Link. I pick Kandarin. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> God. Dude, I, you know, that was the boldest fucking move I've ever seen you do in your life. Picking Asgarnia first, bro. Do you, do you know sake. what, though, mate? It made me grind a lot. And as soon as I hit Kandarin, I picked up a lot of very big points because I've been grinding in Asgarnia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Which, that would happen yeah. with any new area lock, no? Uh, I, I, yes and no. I think there was a few things that I had like level seventy, and I was like, "Fucking hell, this you know, I can do this straight away." Right, for like a hundred points, etc. You know, right, so, right, right. So that was pretty huge. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I think I'm gonna lose this fight, but uh, I'm happy that I'm that many points ahead. Good. Well, I know you're gonna lose this fight. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> you <hell. Okay>. know. <laughs> right, but before we actually do the reveal, link, um, relics. So you definitely had. The next yeah. relic tier three at the very least yeah so um, i mean skilling prodigy eternal jeweler you know i did dude, you get I, tier I, three as well yeah 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 and that's what i'm curious on like i mean your yeah, combat style is fucking mate. determined you're, you're sounding all huge. nonchalant over here i'm dying to know <laughs> This is huge, and I, is. I didn't know. Th I mean, there's two. No one's going magic. Let's be honest. Yeah. Fucking yeah. It's... Um, I nearly went range, but I went melee, mate. Same. Really? Yeah. Wow. Are we I... sure you go range? Are we no, sure you go range, dude? I was looking at it. I think range is vastly overrated. You get the ten percent buff, but melee gets fifteen percent damage reduction. So that nets towards and me, and the hit points heal, and the um that the hit points heal paired with the damage reduction. I'm like, that's gonna be great for Slayer, great for grinding things out. Hopefully, get more yep. experience in the long run. Um, mm -hmm. the the XP, not XP, the attack bonus boost is only half that of range. But like, you look at a Dragon Scimitar versus a Magic Shortbow, the attack bonus is already vastly over it. So I'm like, percentage yeah, yeah, wise, yeah. maybe in I mean, that that's department. Why they've done it. That's why they've done it. Isn't yeah, it? exactly. Plus, I'm like, no rigor. You can get Pidey. I was and like, you compare like a BGS at half the speed. That's mental. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, against what? A, a Armadil crossbow. It, it to yeah, me. Plus, yeah. with that, with the whole spec relic and stuff. At like, you could just do BGS specs like fucking crazy. Like these yeah. fights are gonna be. We're gonna be comboed out. And I just didn't think range held up. The way I looked melee. at it was damage reduction, great. And I was like, if he goes range, I'm just going to wear full, like, Darok or full barrows, have range protect on, plus a 15% damage reduction. Oh my god, Darok. <laughs> it does not matter. You know, it doesn't matter if you've gone range. I think it's so easy to protect from if you just focus on protecting from range that I was like, I'm not going down the range route. I want to be able to, as you say, slay really quickly and efficiently. And also, range is only one skill melee is you know three skills you're effectively speeding up three skills rather than one so that's why i went for it 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we had similar thought process, dude. I I I <laughs> lost sleep over this choice. I'm like, this choice wow. could lose me the fucking game right here. But... I'm glad we went for the same one because I know. neither of us have lost it here. You know, like... dude. I was so <laughs> certain that you're like, oh, I'm behind the first one to pull a hail mary. Go fucking magic because I think he's going melee. But there's just, like just, there's like I no end game about... content. There's no end game mm, content with magic. Dude. Like, what are you gonna kill bandos with fast barrage? Yeah, but... I... Think about fucking blood barrage at two ticks or three ticks blood barrage with 125% added accuracy. You say that, but melee 15% is... damage reduction, full black dehyde. I could still range you, and I could, or I could still mage you and freeze you in place. And if I freeze you in place, even with entangle. Yeah, but like, like I don't know, melee but... to mage. I don't know, dude. I think it's. I think melee to mage might. It was a bold move to go for it. I wasn't it going was. to. I'm not it that. Was. I'm not that bold of a man. But <laughs> the engineer would have fucking done it. But... <laughs> yeah, he would have fucking hell. <laughs> right, okay, Link. Right. Then I mean, let's fire into this reveal, and yep. we can have the fight. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, you, you pick the first item, man. Uh, let's go shield, mate. Ooh, okay. Quite happy about this. Ooh, myth. Yep. Very nice. I have a steel. Made it myself. Nice, nice. I got mine from Ogres Warriors. Nice. Man's been down there treating himself. Yes, sir. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to go Helm. My favorite. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> say, it's going to be Rune, isn't it? You will see why yeah. I'm a little yeah. low on yeah. points. It. I'm, I'm pretty stacked. Like, I'm not going to lie. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, all right. Body. Oh, I forgot my body in the bank. Holy shit. <laughs> all right you said body right yeah okay <laughs> just in case you went magic again are you taking the piss everyone's <laughs> gonna be like just in case you go magic <laughs> <laughs> all yeah, right this is gonna be a slaughter um, i know what oh he's gonna have a dragon scimitar isn't he legs Fuck's legs uh, I'm, uh, yeah this is see it's hard to make money this is why my points are so low <laughs> uh, uh boots Booty, mate. <laughs> Hand boots, nice. dude. I got some dude, this fight in style, man. Um, okay. let's go gloves. Don't have any gloves. What have we got? Bronze gloves. Oh, did a bit of the old recipe for disaster. You know it, big man. Okay. Uh, let's go cape. Artie cloak Uno. Mm. Okay. I haven't got around to that yet, so I've got my I've got my boy Ooh. with me. That's a task that I didn't even do yet. I'm just too lazy <laughs> to walk up there, to be honest. It's, what, 10 points, right? I'm just yeah, like, 10 yeah, points. like, ah. I mean, you just, search the, 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 you just search the box by the uh, the entrance to the yeah. monkeys, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 fuck's sake. Um, right, necklace. Ooh. Strength, Abby. How'd you get Ooh. that? Uh, it's given to you as an eternal jeweler. It doesn't give me oh, anything. I just thought. It, Do you think that, it was a glory. It's a it's a glory. What did you think it was a glory? No, I thought it was a uh, skills necklace. I was like, how the fuck did you get that craft? I mean, it, it, it is a skills necklace, but yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, all right. The weapon is gonna have a dragon simi or a dragon. I'll long, just put it on you. <laughs> I can't know it. See, this is dude. It is not easy to make money quickly. Yeah. I should say. Yeah, I that, I had that. to make a hundred k for this fucker. And it it wasn't it wasn't quick. It the, if yeah. if anything was slower than I thought, it was this. Right. The tasks were much quicker than I thought. Making money mm -hmm. was much slower than I thought. And okay, well I, I guess that's sort of good to hear that you you. I don't know. I looked at it as like I'll make my money later on when the skills are really high. You know, that's how I'm sort of looking at it. But yep. I'm trying way. to secure some early wins, man. <laughs> yeah, I respect that. I because also, yeah, if I I figure if I can secure a lot of early wins, then my end game could just be focused on a final fight. And yeah. so yeah. that's kind of my thought process on the whole thing. Uh, cool. I mean, I would have been going into this fight with an adamant longsword if a sour hog hadn't dropped me an Addy Sim. So fuck yeah. A what? <laughs> the new slayer oh a sour hog sour dude i'm hog, still lost yeah. in 05 i don't know what the fuck <laughs> yeah, that <I> is dude <laughs> uh yeah so i got a sour hog task and i was like can we get an addy sim and we got two actually so yeah oh well, nice nice yeah. nice nice uh now we can't trade our inventories so I what are you rocking uh, do I'm you know what you're rocking an attack potion and 27 lobsters Ooh. okay i am rocking 11 Karambwans and the rest lobsters. Right. So. You did Tybo One Eye. 
No, I just bought it from the shop, dude. Although oh, that's, right. yeah. So, <laughs> so it's, I didn't have time. Link, I'm gonna let you get the first hit, man. Just, I oh, mean, yeah. So much, <laughs> just, I'm, I'm just gonna try to auto retaliate. You just let me know when you're ready. Just, just give me a oh, oh, that, that attack potion. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> come on. Oh my god. Hit, hit come oh, on. I I'm not gonna be able to out eat this. I know. I'm not hitting this as much as good. I wanted to, to be honest. Come on, hit, Rog, hit. Here we go. The train. Oh my god. God. Dude, just imagine <laughs> this, this with fucking whips and shit, man. Yeah, this is going to be insane. Come on, hit. Eat. Oh my god. <laughs> this is yeah, need high healing food. <laughs> need high healing food and need to upgrade my setup a little bit. That's what I'm taking from this. If I lose this monkey, I'm gonna be fuming, man. <laughs> no, it's a safe death here, dumbass. Yeah, but you know, you know like Chin Chompers how they run away when, when you die. You <laughs> oh, know? so you think your monkey's gonna lose or leave you after one defeat? <laughs> Not dude, much he's... faith in that little fuck. Dude, look at him. He's, he's holding on for dear life. <laughs> Would you really hit him? Hit... Look how cute he is, mate. Look what you're doing to him. <laughs> <laughs> Come to me. Get a grip. <laughs> have you eaten? <laughs> no, but I might have to because I'm getting a bit nervous. <laughs> oh, this is zero first. Okay. I mean, we knew that was gonna happen, so I'm sure correct, you're. I'm correct. sure you're not too upset about that one, man. Uh, I mean, even in my in my show, my gear off, I was like, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna lose this one. I know I will. Don't worry. So, I, want those <sighs> I still haven't got that fucking boys. task done. Yeah, unlucky, bro. Unlucky. Thanks, man. Appreciate <laughs> it. You know what, though, I'm going into this with what was it like a 500 point lead or something like that, which I'll take. Thank you so much, uh, guys, for tuning in. The next upload will be over on Link's channel on Tuesday. Oh, he's already geared off. He's ready to log off. <laughs> I'll see you then, guys.